continuing with our election coverage this morning. Another highly contested race from yesterday was that office for the district attorney for the 34th Judicial District. There were three Democratic candidates challenging current Republican District Attorney Bill Hicks. Well, you may recall Hicks was appointed by Governor Greg Abbott after uh, the resignation of DA Yvonne Rosales. The race is set to head into a runoff in about six weeks. Our KTSM 9 News, Skylar Soto, has more. Good morning. The top two candidates in the Democratic District Attorney race are James Montoya with unofficial final results of 37.59% and Alma Trejo with 35.53% of the votes. Now both candidates say they were happy with the current numbers and look forward to a runoff election. Trejo is a lawyer and retired judge who says her campaign will need to regroup and see what worked and what didn't. She says her team joined late in the campaign process and their goal was to make it to a runoff election. She adds that the people need to know what is happening in the current DA's office. What we'll do is we'll bring out the, the current state of the DA's office and the fact that we do need a change. Montoya is a public defender and former assistant district attorney who says his team will continue to canvas and talk to people one on one, connecting with El Pasoans to find out what matters to them and making sure they are educated on those issues. You know, the state of the DA's office right now, there is no justice happening in our community. It's not happening for victims. It's not happening for people accused of crimes. Uh, and so that's got to change. Now Trejo and Montoya are heading into a runoff election, which is set for May 28th. And whoever takes the top spot in that race will then face off against Republican Bill Hicks in the November election. In studio, I'm Skylar Soto, KTSM 9 News.